So, I play a lot of StarCraft 2 co-op commanders, but I'm not really good at making videos about it. And part of that is because this is my go-to relaxation game. So, for this video, I thought I would dive into something very specific, and that would be the Commander Rainer Prestige 3, which turns Rainer from your average MMM commander of a huge bio ball into essentially the god of Terran air. And this is very fun. However, since you need to grind the two previous prestiges to get this, it I can imagine if you are wondering is this worth your time. So I felt that I would show hey, you how problems, the man. gameplay can work with this. So, essentially, we have leveled Raynor Prestige 3 to level 15. Everything is uh, good, and we have a Stukov to help Janana. us out. First we have our glorious instant supply One depots. And basically, the only drawback to this to is that combat units cost. 50% more minerals. However, support. it's usually and never the minerals the that is the problem. Usually your problem is gonna come from lack of gas, because despite the fact that most of the units cost minerals. less gas, it means that you're gonna be starved for it either way. So, with 150 resources on its way, we can immediately build a starport. The starport, the armory, and the orbital command now lack any sort of tech requirement. But the nice thing about it is that uh, uh, the um, fusion core for the battle cruisers still only required a starport to be built and nothing else. So, the starport can be built as normal, so we'll upgrade to the Orbital Command. We'll have one of our SCVs start with our second gas. And we will be putting down a tech lab. Now, my first unit is always a Banshee. Always. Unless I have really specific mission parameters. The early attack is going to be ground-based, and for that reason, the first will be a Banshee. And, of course, you also research the cloak, just in case whatever comes at you first, hey, first thing will minerals, be able to shoot back, such as if it's a Terran opponent, opponent, then they send Marines, for example. A Banshee can't really stand up to that kind of firepower from such a group, but brutal. So, our first Banshee is out, so we are gonna get another tech lab. And we are also gonna grab the armory. And the, our research is a lot cheaper, one of the benefits of uh, mastery. We're also going to. Seeks to support Amon's champion. Do not allow that to happen. It seems our foes intend to attack us directly. Looks like Stukov is sending some of his uh, infested civilians to. Have a gander. Oh god, it's a protest. This is actually one of the worst things that could have happened. Because right now, the enemy is essentially going to be uber air. They're going to have an Oracle Void Racing Carrier. So we need to get some Vikings up in the air immediately. And we need to get the Vikings upgraded. I mean, Stuka is not bad against air power, but he's, he's not really the best kind either, so... Our allies are under attack. But the Vikings can essentially just strike at range and snipe out any sort of Let's get into the air power, and especially if we grab the plus one range up right here. We're also going to start with our barracks, because the barracks is minerals. very vital. We are gonna need medics to heal our forces. So, essentially this is not going to be much of... Uh, much of the... Um, air to ground variety, of course there's gonna be a lot of that as well, but... We don't... I don't anticipate us needing that many Banshees. 
But part of why Raynor Prestige 3 is powerful is that sometimes you just get one of those opponents that are pu almost purely ground forces, and those forces are extremely fun to fight as Raynor Prestige 3, because you're basically just blasting away, and the enemy can't do that much about it. So, we are going to make sure Sure, we have another armory for the weapon upgrades and we are gonna be planting down that one and of course we're gonna plant down our fusion core because uh, it's, it's going to be a one of our main units in this uh, is probably going to be the battle cruiser because battle cruisers are essentially good about good against literally everything so we are going to grab some medics, for that. and currently we need to actually... I had moved my forces into position to uh, intercept the enemy attack. I don't actually want to lose my Viking, so we're calling in the Vi Hyperion to pull the heat away from it a little bit. All units engage those Protoss. Research just finished up. Sell me. Perfect. What's the talk to? We'll make sure we have some more of those medics, and we'll call in more. We'll need more gas first. The doctor is hybrids. I cannot stand against them for long. Kill them before I am overwhelmed! Most of these hybrid armies are going to be air-based, but some of them are not going to be, so... Obviously, I want my dust wings in there to clear out the ground infestation so that Stu Cobb's uh, other units can face the uh, other systems with. I usually play on Brutal Plus, but I had a bit of... Uh, I haven't been so lucky with my mutations as of late, so as such, right now I decided to just play on regular old brutal for. And once the battle cruiser is uh, alive and well, I usually designate my first battle cruiser as a flagship, meaning that about everything I build is going to be routed to that set. If your armies are strong enough to be divided. So, engaging the uh, slain elementals is, is sometimes a tricky thing to do, but with the Vikings, you can essentially just stay out of range and pour it on. We can send, we can send our, we can send our, the rest of our army out of range, essentially, and just pour it on with our battle cruiser and our Vikings. Such troublesome creatures. Slay the last one when you have the chance. And I've become supply blocked again. Gotcha. At least clearing out a supply block is a very easy thing to do with Raynor. Our allies are under attack. There we go. Our allies are under attack. The is in. Our allies are under attack. Well, let's this. One of the nice things about Raynor is also that his mech units, both through Mastery and through the 15th talent, essentially can gain a lot more rate of fire. So they'll fire a lot faster, and unlike the biocentric Mastery talent, you don't actually need to put your medics to the task of actually using using the, their dual healing mastery. As you can see, the upgraded Vikings just melt everything in their path here. Yeah. Against... However, and this is actually the only drawback, you always need to just keep, ma keep making... Medics. There's no, there's no way around it. 
you have to keep making medics because your medics are going to die. There is there's not anything about it. Because you don't have anything to stand in the way between them and enemy ground units. And enemy ground units tend to want to want your your medics dead. And also, in case there are no enemy air units to fight, the Vikings can sometimes get themselves far into trouble. So usually, once you get your economy going, you'll just start to switch to more and more battle cruisers because those battle cruisers are vital, especially when they have the Yamato cannon. And of course, I forgot the Yamato cannon upgrade, but never mind that. It's nice to play with the Stuka who knows what the fuck he's What's doing, by the way. Yeah. So we're going to dispatch our SCV to establish the second outpost. Uh, I would say that Rainer Prestige 3 can be played on one base, but it's not as, it's our not recommended. On a map like this, on against opponents that we can easily counter with a hard counter, uh, you can play in one base, but you should never, never play one base on Brutal. And, yeah, he wants to attack, so we're gonna do that. Those uh, Devastators are going to be going to be lethal against uh, the forces, so we should stream to try and assist Stukov with taking them out. We need more minerals. Our allies' base is under attack. Now, as we can see here, the enemy are actually engaged with Stukov. But what we can do here is that we can use our tactical jump on the battle cruisers and instantly be at a new location, which is which is really really nice. Yet another elemental has wandered onto the field of battle. Deal with it if you can. Need more gas. Our allies are under. I'm still pretty focused on making new units, so. I haven't actually been do paying attention to my upgrades, and I really should have been doing that. Are under attack. Ready to need more gas for that. We'll need more gas. Ready to blunder. Okay, so my units, my units are not in, not united here, and they. They really ought to be, but we shouldn't really get ourselves sidetracked by that either way. We should try to get go for the go for the elemental and get out of range. God damn it, my battle got stuck in it. Our allies are under attack. Vengeance. All of the elementals have been eradicated. Now return your full attention to Rakshir. We're gonna get some more Vikings. Our allies are under attack. Ready to blow. Not enough energy. And we are going to form up with uh, the objective. Well, let's do have handle the base, and we will be heading to intercept the enemy attack. Our allies are under attack. Another battle cruiser, if you please. Command hey, that's not enough minerals, man. What is it? This is going to be mostly an airborne force. Between the range of the Vikings and the fact that they have an area of effect attack, the enemy just melts in front of them, and it is just fun to fun to behold. And Vikings are dirt cheap to replace as well. Our allies are under Essentially, attack. I don't really throw up the Vikings as a screen. Uh, I prefer to have the battle cruisers try and take on the damage if they can, and then Vikings just hang bang at the back and dish out all the fucking damage they can. Or in this case, we got Stukov that can dish out a lot of damage. So essentially, we, what we got here is the is the. Banshee is drawing the fire, and Stuka drawing the fire, and then we have everything else, we'll essentially just first. piling it on. Not enough 
My upgraded battle cruisers can take down a carrier, no fucking problem. As you can see, we are still running with a fairly, fairly small force here, and the enemy have heavy air here, so it's essential that we inter intervene as quickly as possible. We can actually send our send our banshees out of there. They have they have essentially fulfilled their duty as a distraction. We're also going to deploy the Hyperion just to not lose our vital balance. And we, we are going to call in more of our Vikings to be, we'll need more gas first. To be fire support for the cruisers. Ready to blunder. Break it down. What's the plan? What's up? So we still only run with four banshees, and I am actually not really inclined to increase the amount by that much. We're also starting new weapons research, but not uh, the. Yeah, uh, it was it was actually my intent to start the other. Oh crap! My banshees are getting torn apart by psi storms here. Now don't let up. We're almost there. Allies are under attack. Our allies are under attack. Amon's champion draws power from his supplicants. Eliminate them. The doctor is in. Our allies are under attack. Need more gas for that. The doctor is in. As I said, you usually run low on gas rather than minerals here. And you might think that the reduced gas cost for starport units is a blessing. Uh, but it's also a curse because you are still going to run low on gas. We need more minerals. There we go. One thing I've learned the hard way is that never forsake your economy, even if the game looks won. Even if you like at the last leg of the objective, it never forsake your economy. Because if you do, you're just going to end up having to regret it. Enemies headed for our base. I think I'll call down the hot period. But to be honest, to be brutal, and everything says that it's brutal. I would say that we are facing very few and small What's attack waves. This is actually rubber easy. Alright, so let's go down to uh, Dinara here and boost her. Talk to me. Break it down. What's up? Hey, that's not enough men. More enemies just melting away. We need more men. That was a team effort though, so I can't take all the credit for that one. But we're gonna be calling in more Vikings Keep your here. Armies close to me so that I might strike the These hybrids possess immense psionic power. Destroy them, or that power will belong to their champion! We're gonna lose that battle cruiser unless we retreat it. When it comes to losses, essentially the key rule of thumb is that you can afford to lose Vikings and Banshees, but your battle cruisers should be protected at all costs. Because as long as you have a solid line of battle cruisers, the rest doesn't really matter. So we're going to head down there to Dinara, we're gonna pick her up, and we are gonna explain to her that uh, she's not going to be High Lord of the Paladarine today, but she might have a fair chance at it in the future. And even though there's no enemies left, we still keep up that production. But you d simply do not know. 
accept suffering and achieve victory too. That is what I must do.